Hello, my name is Al, and I would like to suggest a feature for the Google Latitude API. I've been using Google Latitude for about a year and a half now, and I have you know tens of thousands of coordinates logged in my location history, and I always find it fascinating to look at where I've been over the course of that year and a half. Now, using the Google Latitude website, you can look at your location history. However, it's only limited to, I think, your last, you know, 500 locations. Well, as a developer, I would like to create a site, you know, where I can see where I've been all time. Unfortunately, the API doesn't offer something like that right now. So I have a suggestion on how to go about creating something like that. Um, one way is to, you know, return, you know, 100,000 coordinates, but that's not going to work very well. So here's my suggestion on uh, what I think is a, maybe a better, simpler way to go about doing that. My suggestion is to create a new method called geographic history. And the way geographic history works is you pass a northwest and a southeast coordinate. So as you can see on this map, we're zoomed out. We can see the whole USA, and the arrows point to where our northwest and our southeast coordinates are. Okay, so the API takes those northwest and southeast coordinates and that forms a box. Next, the API will break that box into, say, 400 individual boxes, okay? And each one of those boxes has their own northwest and southeast coordinate. So what the API will do is it'll now look through the user's complete location history and find out how many times they have been in each one of those individual boxes. So I created a quick little script here that takes my entire year and a half's worth of location history, breaks it down into individual boxes, and counts how many times I was in each one of those individual boxes. And what I did was, uh, if you look at the map here, red means I've been in those boxes a lot, green not so many, yellow is somewhere in between. So if we zoom in a little bit more, the northwest and southeast coordinate changes, okay? Now the number of individual boxes doesn't change, it's always going to be, you know, 400 or so. And as you can see, it starts to get a little bit more clear as to where exactly I've been. Now the more and more that I zoom in, the clearer it'll be as to where I have actually been over this past year and a half. So let's zoom in towards Charleston, South Carolina, where I've spent quite a lot of time. Okay, so if we were to click on one of these dots, it'll tell you how many times we've actually been in the, in the individual box. So here we are zooming in on Charleston, and it just gets clearer and clearer as to where I've been. And now we're pretty much at street level. Now the cool thing about uh, about this whole idea is if, as a developer, okay, and I pull my location up, all right, and I happen to be downtown on Calhoun Street in Charleston, I could pull up this history, okay, and my program could say, could notice that, hey, you know, I've been at this location a long time, maybe uh, that's a place that I tend to frequently visit, you know, that could be a really good uh, way to, you know, do automatic check-ins or, you know, something along those lines. So, anyways, this is just my suggestion. I think it's really powerful. There's a lot of cool stuff that we could do with it. So, uh, I really hope to be able to see something like that in the API in the future. So, thank you very much, Google Attitude, for creating a great service and offering an API for us developers. I can't wait to see what you come up with next. Thank you.